Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course. Brandon Wenzel, come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, hey, folks, template video series videos I've been doing for the one hour. Go over there, trap food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff. And folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks. I'm not going to lie. For some reason, it took me three tries to get my intro right this time around. I don't know why. Every now and again, I just fumble it. It happens. But anyway, uh, it's a super simple format, folks. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out some food and or beverage items. Excuse me. Of the consumable variety. I'm going to go over there and let you know whether or not they're worth consuming based off my personal experience. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm inside the truck. And I'm wearing a cool shirt. Folks, when I wear cool shirts, ah like to highlight the cool shirt. What cool shirt am I wearing today? Boom! It's it's, it's my Maruchan shirt. What with the instant lunch and all. <sighs> I love some Maruchan. I will I will forever profess my love for Maruchan. This stuff, man, I mean, and look, you know, it's not the best stuff for you. There's sodium and things like that. I'm not saying, you know, but man, especially being a guy as I am, where it's like, I don't cook a lot. I can cook a little bit, but you know, I'm more of a quick and easy type of guy. Either I go out to eat, you know, and enjoy myself doing that. If I'm at home, it's, you know, it's typically going to be something simple that I can do really easily. And Maro Chan, they just, they fill that void. And granted, there's other, you know, things like that, but Mar I like Maro Chan. Damn it. Anyway. Uh, what am I trying for y'all, folks? What are, what are we doing? It doesn't have anything to do with Maro Chan. Although it is potentially on the cheaper side of things. Um, because, folks, we're doing... Boom! CNC Cola. It's like the Music Factory, but a soda. So it's drinkable. That makes it even better than the CNC Music Factory. It was CNC, right? I don't. Yeah. So here's the thing. I found a bunch of these uh, at a gas station by a coworker's house because I had to give them a lift home for a little while, and they had a bunch of different flavors. I am not familiar with CNC. Only CNC thing I've had so far was their pineapple soda. I did that when I did the uh, Pineapple Soda Spectacular number three, or number one slash two, depending on how you want to look at it. So this is just their basic cola. I, f I figure, why not? It's a little bit icy because it was in the back of my fridge, and the back of my fridge gets nice and cold. So hopefully that one will make the flavor better. I like a cola. I've actually thought about doing a... Uh, Cola Spectacular comparison video. The You know, a lot of different colas. I might get to that. We'll see. Smells like a cola. That's a good start. Mmm. I like it when it's still a little bit icy. It makes me happy. Mmm. Yeah, that pretty much is what I expected. Um, it's not bad, but it's definitely a cheap cola. For sure, it's a cheap cola. Uh, it doesn't have... It doesn't have the personality of a proper cola. So, like, the three main colas are obviously Coke, Pepsi, and then, in my personal opinion, RC. And some people like to shit on RC... Go fuck yourself. I like RC. It drinks like spite because of its history, and I love that. Uh, yeah, I mean, Coke has a personality to it. Pepsi has a personality to it. RC has a personality to it. Cheaper sodas usually don't. They, they sort of taste of, here you go. And that's kind of what this qualifies to me as. It's not bad or anything, but it's along the lines of like a great value Coke, you know, or like a, a store brand soda. It doesn't, I don't know that it warrants, I also like how they kind of do the little switch like they're trying to be Coca-Cola. Um, yeah, apparently it's from New Jersey. I don't know that this warrants being its own brand necessarily. Again, I feel like you could have just tied this in with like 
ah, 7-Eleven or some shit and just been like, hey, it's a 7-Eleven brand. I mean, it's, it's not bad. It, it's a decent tasting cola. It doesn't have the strength of flavor that Coke or Pepsi does. It definitely isn't as sweet as Pepsi. Um, the aftertaste isn't my favorite. It's not horrible or anything, but it's, it's noticeable. And compared to something like Coke or Pepsi, typically you don't really have an aftertaste to speak of. You know, it's, it all kind of blends together. With this, there's definitely a, you know, kind of generic taste and cola taste, then a little bit of a dip off, then you get a little bit of an aftertaste, which again, it's not horrendous or anything, but it's, it's noticeable enough to be noticeable. And it just tastes cheaper. Um, again, it's not, it's not horrendous or anything. I forget how much I paid for this because I bought it a little while ago. If this cost, and I don't think it did, if this cost like under a buck, I'd give it to it. 100%. It's solid enough. If it's a dollar, okay. But I'm only giving it to you just because inflation has fucked everything over. Used to be the case, you get a soda for a dollar. Now you can't get a soda for a dollar now. It costs eighty nine seventy four. I don't know why. It just does. Believe me. Um. But yeah, if it's like that dollar or under range, I could give it to it because that is kind of the the what I'm getting from it. If it's really anything more than that, it's like hmm. Mm. But ultimately, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Again, if it's like a buck or under. <laughs> if it's a buck or under, sure, man, sure. Because at the end of the day, like I said, at that point, it's it, it's worth it for what it is. But anything above that, and it's just not really. So I don't, I, based purely off taste, like I wouldn't recommend it. I, I just, just shell out the extra bucks for, you know, for a Coke or a Pepsi or something like that. Because while I don't think it's horrible or anything, it's just, I don't, I, I've been, I've been that person who, you know, I used to drink like the Walmart brand soda and stuff. And don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to be like, oh, I'm so high in my, I'm wearing a Maruchan shirt, okay? I know who the fuck I am. Um, you know, so that, that's not the point. But it's like, at a certain point in my life, you know, when I got a little bit older, when I had a little bit of my own money, and I could kind of, you know, th spend a little bit here and there. I was like, you know what, I want to I wanna buy, like, you know, not the high-end stuff, but, you know, a little step up. So for me, something like this, it's like, mmm. It just kind of harkens back to those those days of drinking Walmart brand cola and just being like, I know, I know that there's better out there. Ooh, a little bit of acid reflux on that one. Anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest week. Monumental rest month. Stupendous rest of your... Ooh. Why did you hurt me so? It's because I mocked you. Uh, it seems like a New Jersey thing to do, right? I don't know. I've never been to Jersey. But they have a reputation. Have yourself a truly... Uh... <laughs> no offense to Jersey, folks. Have yourself a truly cola-tastic rest of your life, but like proper cola. Be it... Your Pepsis, your Coke, your RCs, even your Fago, right? Fago, I'm sure, has a cola. Yeah. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in your world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But we do if we can't do it all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what we're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Now, folks, it's always the easiest thing to do in the world, especially when your hair keeps going all poofity poofity. Find yourself in situations where your hair is all poofity poofity, and on top of that, you're stressed out, you're overworked, you're tired, and, you know, there's just things in your life that are causing you stress and drama, <sighs> take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholeness in your life, hopefully do better for yourself and for those around you. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, damn it, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're from the fine state of New Jersey, and you're proud of your CNC cola. Fair enough. I'm not saying you shouldn't be. Is Coca-Cola not available there? Is there like an embargo from Atlanta? But no, you know, and maybe you enjoy your CNC Cola. You're enjoying yourself. You're enjoying your best New Jersey life. 
I mean, New Jersey is great, right? That's where Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force is from. Carl's the best character in Aqua Teen Hunger Force. He's better than the Aqua Teens. Even though the Aqua Teens are pretty great, too. Uh, or conversely, just go watch Aqua Teen Hunger Force, damn it. Go, go hang out with Carl. He don't need no instructions to know how to rock. Bye.